more mass, it's more horse to mow. Or she pulls mass, time to celebration. Sir Isaac Newton, and I created the three laws of motion. Motion is when an object changes position. Position is where something is located. I am located right here. Kevin is in motion. Newton's first law of motion is the law of Inertia. It says an object at rest tends to stay at rest, while an object in motion tends to stay in motion until an unbalanced force is acted on it. Cameron will now show you an example of Newton's first law of motion using a coin, an index card, and a cup of water. Cameron will do this experiment because he loves coins. My name is Cameron Reed Kimsey. This is a coin and cup experiment. This demonstrates Newton's first law. Now that coin went down into the cup because of gravity. And Newton's first law says that an object in rest intends to stay at rest while an object in motion tends to stay in motion. Well, why didn't the coin go sideways? Because there was little friction between the coin and the card. Katie okay, will now show you an example of an object in motion and explain the forces that act on it. The bar is at rest, so move bar. Well, the bar is not moving, so I gotta add some force to it. If I kick the bar, it'll move farther. Now, the bar has stopped at friction on the grass. We will now show you a few examples of uh, forces. A force is a push or a pull. We will show you gravity, which is the tendency for things to fall back to earth, and friction, which is the resistance force created when two surfaces rub together. Friction is the resistance force when two surfaces rub together, like my hand. Friction is key when you wash your hands because it is the force that removes the dirt and turn slippery soap and water make the friction less resistant. I'm going to demonstrate some friction for you. Friction is when two surfaces rub together. I'm going to show you how I push this chair on a rough carpet, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to push it on a tile floor. show you how easy it is to push it on the top floor. One, two, three, here we go. That was easy. Cameron and Kaden will have a scooter board race, but Kaden's gonna have to work harder than Cameron because Cameron has 
less friction on the sidewalk. On your mark, get set, go! Gravity is the force that pulls from the earth. If I drop this ball, it'll come back to earth. Gravity is the force that pulls things back to earth. If I drop this parachute to my friend Cameron, it will fall down to earth. My second law of motion says that force equals mass times acceleration. This basically means that it takes more force to move something with more mass. We will show you this using some furniture found around GAB and using a bully alley on campus. Okay, Newton's law, second law says force equals mass times acceleration. Um, it takes more force to lift a couch than a chair. Ugh, this is so hard. The reason why it's easy to lift a chair is because it has less mass. Oh, this is so easy. Did 14 pound ball have more mass than Kevin's ball? I need to use more force to roll this 14 pound. My third and last law of motion says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. We will show you this in three ways. One, using a ball, one, using a chair, and the last one, using a balloon. I did Newton third law is for, for every action, equal and opposite reaction. So if I drop the bar lightly, it will come back up lightly. If I clamp the bar hard, it will come back up harder. The action is I am putting body weight force on this chair. The reaction is that the chair is putting force back up on me and will equal so I don't have to have a chair break. Mm -hmm. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. A balloon's air is going to go one way, and the balloon's going to go the opposite way. Ah, that, and that wraps up my three laws of motion. Thanks for watching. Thank, Thank you. you.